Hey everyone, welcome to questions and answers number nine. Sorry, the last one was so long ago. Uh, sorry, this one took so long to get out. Uh, so let's get into this right away here. First question comes from Pat McCabe. McCabe, uh, they ask, "What size tank do I need for angelfish?" Personally, I would recommend at least a twenty-gallon tub. Of course, bigger is better. Uh, and if you want to have more than one, definitely want to get bigger. Uh, if you want to have a a bunch of them, I recommend at least a fifty-five gallon tank. Uh, and then remember, they are cichlids, so they can become very territorial, especially as they get bigger. Uh, and they might pick on other fish and even eat smaller fish that are with them. Next question is from King Aquatics. They actually have two questions here. First, they said, would an AquaClear 50 and a BioWheel 150 be overkill on my 20-gallon tank? Personally, I do not think you can have too much filtration on any tank. Uh, unless that filtration is pushing your fish around and causing them stress. If it's stress is not good, or stress can kill your fish. Uh, so as long as it's not pushing your fish around, I would say that you are okay with it. Uh, again, I would say there's not, not such a thing as too much filtration on a tank. Uh, then he also asked, what's the largest tank you got right now? That is actually the 9-gallon tank uh, that's in front of you guys right now. That is the, the, the Fluval Flex 9. Uh, then I also have a two and a half gallon long tank. I have a two gallon tank, a five point two, I think it is, or five point six, something like that, which is my newest one. And then a one and a half gallon tank that my uh, my beta with a bad back is in. And he also asked, how did I break the filter on my sixty five that I had? Uh, I was trying to clean the filter out, and I did not do it the correct way. Uh, I did not take the intake tubes out of the tank. Which meant that it still it was still sucking in the water, uh, and it pretty much just overloaded the filter and it broke off uh, where the tubes actually go into the filter itself. That broke and then water was coming out of it. Uh, that that actually happened to me twice, uh, and I just just decided after the same time to be done with the tank because I'm too much of an idiot apparently <laughs> to to deal with it. And and it was also a lot. Of, it also took up a whole bunch of room in my room. So, I just got rid of that tank. Uh, yeah, I mean, it flooded my room twice. It wasn't fun. All right, then we got a question here from Meridian Hutchinson. They said, I know you're not in the saltwater aquariums much, but are there places, websites you should suggest that you purchase supplies that you find quality supplies and great deals? Uh, of course, you have a couple of on online websites. Uh, Amazon.com, you can get... Decent stuff for it for pretty cheap. You can find filters and heaters and pretty much anything you want for fish tanks. They even got some really cool fish tanks on there. Uh, then you also got a couple of other actual online websites. Uh, one that I know a whole bunch of people recommend and use is liveaquaria.com. Uh, they got a whole bunch of good stuff on there as well. Uh, so I'd highly recommend checking that out. I personally do not buy things from online websites. I use just local pet stores. Uh, such as one that my brother works at, which is in Illinois here, and that is called Birds and Beast. Uh, very excellent pet store, very knowledgeable staff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just awesome pet store. That's usually where I buy all my stuff from. And I also get like half off on everything, which is just awesome. <laughs> all right, let's see. And then we got a question here from Stand Up For Christ. So I have a 10 gallon tank with two guppies, two plates, and one dwarf grommy. I have an air stone bubbler and a 2 to 10 gallon Tetra Whisper filter. Uh, my question is, do I have to keep the filter? It's not the best. I feel like the air stone does most of the work pushing the water. The filter takes up a lot of space. Uh, so you you should definitely have a filter on the tank. If you're not liking that filter, I would highly recommend getting a better filter. Uh, personally, I do not like Tetra's filters. Uh, I've just heard bad things about them. Uh, I highly recommend if you are going to get a different filter is to spend a little bit more money and get the the AquaClear, I believe it's the AquaClear 20 for a 10 gallon tank. That is, in my opinion, the best hang on bag filter you can get. Uh, they just make excellent products all around. Uh, so I mean, that's what I'd recommend doing is getting a different filter. Uh, but you do need a filter as an air bubbler, air stone. That's just going to move the water. It's going to give you a little bit more oxygen in the, in the water. Uh, but it isn't going to filter the water whatsoever, so it will not help keep your tank clean. Uh, so you do definitely need a filter. Uh, so either keep that Tetra or go out and buy a better one, uh, and such as the AquaClear 20. I believe they are around 20 bucks. 
or so, so not too, too expensive. All right, then we got one more question here. This is actually from my questions and answers number seven, uh, not from number eight. Uh, I did not answer it in the last question. I do not believe, or in the last questions and answers video, I do not believe. Uh, so this is from Christopher Preedcounds. Sorry if I messed up your name. Nate asks, have you ever tried to breed bears and will you in the future? So I, in, I have a few times in the past uh, using different methods and I just have never been successful with it. They always seem to either fight with each other or just not care about each other or something. Uh, so I'm, I've probably tried three, four or five times or so, I would say, in the past. Uh, most likely, I will give it another go in the future. As of right now, though, I do not have any plans on doing so. But if I do, you guys will probably find out as I'll probably make another video on it. Uh, but yeah, I have and I've just never been, been able to do it. As sad as that is, it is. And I really wish I could actually get betas to breed, but I just cannot seem to get, get them to do it. So, alright, but well, there we go, guys. So, as always, uh, next video I should hopefully have out this coming up Friday or Saturday. Uh, so, about a week from now. Um, as long as I'm not too busy like I was in the last couple weeks to do a video on, on this. Uh, so, again, as always, you guys can leave me a comment below and I will try to answer it in the next questions and, and answers video. Otherwise, if you leave any other questions on any other of my other videos, I will, of course, try and answer those to the best of my knowledge, best of my abilities as well. Thank you all very much for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.